What's up, guys? So I already watched this one, uh, because I didn't know what this girl meant to the story that she was going to tell, but it pretty, she pretty much tells you why this girl is doing what she's doing here. So let's watch this. Uh, go follow her on, on uh, TikTok, guys. Guys, mostly guys are going to like her channel. Uh, but women, can, if she thinks a guy's doing something wrong, she has no problem fucking calling them out, too. So definitely go watch it. Open them. Let's open them. Thank you so much, you kind soul, too. So I just had the unfortunate pleasure of having to watch your live for the last 30 minutes while some white girl was hyping you up and <laughs> blushing about the fact that people say she looks like you. Well, I couldn't help but notice that um, you don't talk like how you're talking in this video whatsoever. So my question to you is, why do you think it's acceptable to emulate what you think neurodivergent people act like just to get out of trouble? For emulating what you think black women are like. You She's, she, the, the woman you see in the beginning, uh, apparently said some stuff about black women. So you're going to hear about that right here. Ass put on a wig and some long ass lashes that you've probably never worn in your life saying period, uh, period, uh, because you think that that's what black women do. And then when you got called out for it and you went viral for it, then in order to, you know, character switch so that people weren't so hard on you, you decided to switch into some, like, what, neurodivergent person? Start emulating a speech impediment and you start buying real childlike things like stickers and stuffies and you're acting all innocent because what you're trying to do is you're trying to subconsciously and psychologically change people's opinion of you by infantilizing you. I guess what I'm trying to say is it's pretty clear to me that you're trying to emulate somebody who lives on the spectrum of autism. I notice you're buying a lot of sensory toys, you're speaking with a speech impediment, which by the way, people who live on the ASD spectrum, they do not all have speech impediments. But it's just clear to me from my educational background in disabilities and living with FASD myself that... Yeah, if you're faking a disability because you fucked up and said something stupid or did something stupid... And the way you get out of that is by faking some bullshit. You're not a good person. That's just my opinion. I think that's where she's going at with this. Clearly, you are trying to emulate somebody who lives with a neurological disability to escape accountability. Well, I'm pretty sure I speak on behalf of all neurodivergent people out there when we say that this is clearly a hoax. We see you. Uh, people who live with neurodivergency are 100% responsible for their actions. And uh, we make mistakes, but, but we, don't, we don't get to use our disability to get out of trouble. And Like Square, for you people that follow me and know who Square is, he thinks because he has some kind of disability that gets him out of trouble. We actually have the disability, so why you're trying blows my mind. Open them. Let's open them. So, yeah, this girl apparently pissed some people off and then decided to change to some other shit. Crazy. 